good day so in today's video I will be talking about some strategies I have used to help overcome my audio memory deficiencies uh, the first thing is just practice my audio memory um, you know I've had I've had the job I've worked at for 10 years and um, before that my parents would give me a lot of tasks to do um, at once so you know, that was a few years of prepping, and then I've had 10 years to really work on remembering a lot of things to do at once. So, you know, uh, creating a list by memory, you know, remembering a lot of things to do. Um, that's really helped just to basically help me overcome my deficiencies because I've basically exercised um, audio memory. It's like exercising a muscle. You know, if you are... Um, if you're if you have a weak muscle um you strengthen it uh, when i was a kid i didn't run very fast so my doctor told me to walk on my toes for a while that fixed the problem so that's basically one thing you can do um but as far as adaptive strategies uh, one thing i learned i had to do was really focus on what was being said uh, it can be difficult for people with autism to focus sometimes i'm on a medication for focus myself Unfortunately, I can't be given medication that's really good for focus, which would be amphetamines and amphetamine derivatives like, uh, let's say, Adderall. Or I can't be given Adderall because I will probably hallucinate. I was on um, something on, as a in the 12th grade called Fulcan XR, and I was hallucinating on it, so they can't give me Adderall and they can't give me um, amphetamines to limit my appetite, so I can't really, uh, take, take that to lose weight, but, yeah, I, I can't lose in that, so they can't give me those good drugs, I was focusing great on Adderall, but, or, I mean, on Focal and XR, but, I was hallucinating, so, but, I digress, so back to the original point, so, what I had to do was learn to really focus on the individual speaking, when the individual was speaking, I would, you know, look directly at them and basically learn to kind of tune out distractions, really focus on them. That helped tremendously. Other things I did was basically, well, one thing I had to learn was tie an emotion. Uh, sometimes I would do that. Um, another thing I would do is, let's say I had to remember a certain word or a certain process, I would try to mentally form an image. Um, for instance, if there were steps to do something on the computer, um, steps to, um, you know, make a computer work, steps to actually uh, perform my job, I would have to see the computer screen, um, how it would look as I was going to just, uh, you know, do the task if it said like let's say like for instance one thing i have to do is print the shipping pick list i have to in my mind see the words shipping pick list and that way i know to click on that so i'll if i have the, it's a word like my i've got manager in uh, another department to remember her last name which is fairly obscure which a lot of people don't i have to it's six letters so i have to in my mind see those six letters uh visually and then I can remember. So if I can make it visual, I'm more likely to remember. Even if it's a mental image. And another thing is for multitasking, for a list of things I have to do. Um, if there were, let's say, do X, X task here, Y task over here, Z task over here. I will think of the task, what the object item um, station is and the associated task and I remember it's over here the item and that will remind me the task here the task there the task there I'll associate an item and a location with the task and then I'll remember that's what I have to do I guess it's like the low side method where you remember a location and an item so that's basically what I've done to help with my well audio memory deficiency I have sometimes I attach an emotion to the um you know the memory 
Sometimes I have to form a mental image. And most importantly of all, I have to really give undivided or almost undivided attention to the person speaking and the person who is giving me the instructions. So, I hope this will help you to um, develop, uh, to either use these strategies or develop strategies of your own in order to help with audio memory um, deficiencies. In the meantime, what you can do to possibly help you train and exercise uh, audio memory, you can do things like listen to uh, your favorite songs, and if you listen to them, write down as many words as you can remember, or you can um, listen to a short audiobook, a lot of older short stories are good, and because not only are they short, but also because, well, they're in their public domain, so you can just listen to them, but no problem, you can find them real easy on YouTube or anywhere, so you can just listen to them and write down what you remember about them. These are ways to exercise and also exercise strategies for remembering um, different um, things about them. But yeah, I hope this helps you. Um, this helps me. I've, you know, like I said, I've had like 10 and some years of experience uh, of adapting. But yeah, I hope this helps you.